Hello everyone, welcome to the Power BI course. Today we are going to learn how to configure table and columns in your data model uh, to better organize them and I'm going to explain each table and column property and what is their importance. Okay, so uh, let's get started. I'm here in a Power BI desktop home screen and as you can see I have five tables here. I already clean and transform my data in Power Query and now they are ready for modeling. Okay, I have uh, one table which is fact table, uh, sales table and then I have four other dimension tables um, to uh, create a relationship with the fact table. Okay, uh, I'm going to click, I'm, I'm going to click on the model view. And as you can see that Power BI auto detect the relationship between the tables and uh, so here as well I have my fact table in a center and all my four dimension tables around it uh, with the relationship with the fact table. Okay, um, let's select the table here. So I'm going to show you how to and let me expand the properties. Uh, window. I'm going to explain you how to create a hierarchy first. Uh, so and what is the importance? So hierarchy, uh, it is when you have a hierarchy, then it will be easy to create your visuals. Uh, and uh, it will show you the relationship between the, the other columns in a hierarchy. Okay. So uh, I'm going to select the uh, category and I wanted to create a hierarchy including category, subcategory and products. So um, on the model view, I select the uh, category column from the product table and let me right click it and there is a first option create hierarchy. So select it. And then in a properties window, I'm going to give a name here. So my hierarchy name will be products. And if you wanted to give a description, you can give that as well. I'm going to leave it blank for now. Um, in a synonyms then, uh, you can give whatever synonyms you think. Uh, the importance of the synonym property is either for table, column, hierarchy. Uh, as many as synonyms you should give here. Like for example, I can give a prod as well. So these synonyms will be used by your user when they use a Q&A section on your report. So when we design our Q&A section in our report, then user is going to use that to create a visual uh, the way they want. So for example, in this case, your user may be looking for a sales for a product and it just type it in a Q&A section that give me a visual for um, sales by prod. In that case, if you give a prod synonym here, then it will be easy and quicker process. So your data model can produce that visual according to your user. Okay, so that is that. The display folder, I am not going to use it for hierarchy. I will show you later that how to use that. Now, um, in, in the, when you scroll down, the last section is the hierarchy. And in this case, our hierarchy is created name products and it has a one entry in it category. So I'm going to add other category. So I'm going to add a subcategory. And I'm going to add a product as well. So here is our full hierarchy, uh, including category and then subcategory and then products. And I'm going to uh, click this apply level changes. And I'll show you on the report page how to use it. Okay. So for that, I'm going to select a stacked bar chart. And I'm going to get a uh, sales, so sum of sales 
and I'm going to select that hierarchy which we just created with this symbol. Okay, so select that and you can see here your quick visual is ready. It's showing up a four categories which our data has and now if you drill, if you want to drill down, just uh, click on this symbol with double arrow and it will produce you uh, subcategories, uh, sales and then a product sales. Okay, so it makes easy uh, to create your visual when you design your report. Okay, now go back to the model view and I'm going to select a table. So let's see, I'm going to select the, the product table again. So we, I can show you each property. Okay, again, uh, it starts with name. If you wanted to change your name, uh, the table name, then you can change it here. Add description if you want. Synonyms, any synonyms for the table, for the column or for the hierarchy. You can give as many as synonyms you want. Okay. Um, then the row label property. So the row label allows you to define which column is the best identifies a single row in this table. So for example, in a product table, if you think that the product column is a best single row identifier in this table, then you should use that row label, um, that column, okay? And you can see that we have now this symbol here because we selected under the row label. Uh, uh, so row label as well, similarly it used as a synonyms uh, during the Q&A section, okay? Um, now on the key column, so I'm going to select a product key. So that, is, that is my key column if you, if you want that, okay? Um, then under the advanced option for the table, you have a storage mode, which is uh, disabled right now because I select the import mode to get the data in Power BI Desktop. And so I can show you that. Um, so uh, once you select the import mode, it will not allow you to change it. But if you have a direct query mode, then you can select the storage mode for each table. Okay, so that is that. Now we are going to select the region table and I'm going to select one column so we can understand the column properties as well. So in a general section, um, again, if you wanted to change the name of the column, you can change it here. You can add a description you uh, here in the description section. Uh, then the synonyms. Uh, you can give as many as synonyms that you think that your, your user can try to find a visual by that name. So you can give that. Okay. I'm going to leave it here. Uh, the display folder, let's see here. If I wanted to put it my any column in particular uh, folder, then I can organize my table that way. Okay. So let's say that I have an area folder. Then, and I wanted to put it my country column in that area folder. So I write down area and enter. And you can see here that we have area folder now and our country column is under that area folder. Okay. So that way you can organize your column in a table by using the display folder. Then we have a formatting section. In a formatting section, you can choose your data type for the column and you can choose the format as well. In this case, we have only text column and so you cannot change to anything else, uh, like you cannot format further. But if, let's say if you have a date column and you select the date, and in that case, you will have a date formats available and you can select the format uh, you want, okay? Then you have advanced section um, in a column property and you have a sort by column so you can uh, use that. Uh, then you have a data category. So my country ca uh, category currently is uncategorized 
Now, this type of geological um, columns, you can uh, add a, a data category. So, uh, for now, we have country selected and uh, you can you will see here a symbol if I uh, select the data category. So, let's go and select a country as a country or country as a country and region. Uh, and we should, yeah, we, we should have a geological symbol here. So, uh, that is that you can uh, select a region and also assign a category. If you have a uh, city name, then you can assign as a city, latitude, longi longitude, postal code, anything you can use it. Okay. Um, you can summarize your column if you have a column like, let's say, in a sales column, the cost. Then uh, you can you can summarize by by default it's selected a sum but you can use it by average mean max count anything okay um i wanted to um, select my decimal places here for this type of column so i'm going to so i have selected cost i'm going to hold a control key and i'm going to select uh, sales and unit price all are selected and now I'm going to use these decimal places for example 2. So you can use it the uh, the decimal places you like. Okay. Uh, on the quantity then I don't want it to summarize. So I'm just uh, I'm count if you want. Okay. So that is about all about the column properties. Um, we already discussed the table um, properties. You can also hide the columns, like for example, all the key columns on all tables. I'm going to hide it. So I select product key from product table. Uh, from the region, I'm going to select by holding control key, the sales territory key. From the reseller table, reseller key. Uh, and all the foreign keys also in a sales table. And salesperson employee key. So all my key columns are selected and I'm going to change now is hidden yes. Okay, so all are hidden now and you can go to the report page and you will not see any key column okay so this is all about how to configure um, table and column properties uh, in a data model and if you like the content of the video guys then please like share comment and subscribe my channel and thanks for watching